Good afternoon, students. We are on page 46. So please go to page 46 in your student book and we'll get started. The unit theme is holidays and celebrations. In this lesson, we're going to read about four different holidays and then we will fill out this chart with information from the holidays. This is a reading exercise to help you read and find information and create your answers. So I will read you this text. Please read and follow along with me. All right, Diwali. Diwali is a Hindu festival. It takes place during October or November and lasts five days. For Diwali, houses are cleaned and decorated, lamps are lit, and colorful patterns called rangoli are drawn on the floor. Families gather together and special sweets called mithai and snacks made from chickpeas, rice, lentils, and spices are eaten. Friends visit each other and presents are exchanged. All right, now we will go down to this holiday right here. Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr is a Muslim holiday celebrated at the end of Ramadan. Ramadan starts in the ninth lunar month, and for that month, people do not eat or drink during the day. When the new crescent moon appears, people celebrate the end of fasting. They wear their best clothes and houses are decorated with lights. Families get together and sweet dishes such as dates and milk and delicious cakes are eaten. All right, now let's go to Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday that lasts eight days in November or December. On each day of the festival, a candle is lit on the menorah. Families get together and, or sorry, families get together to eat special fried foods like potato pancakes and donuts to show the importance of oil. Presents are given and special games are played. All right, so this right here is the menorah. And the last one, Christmas. Christmas is a Christian holiday celebrated on December 25th. People decorate a Christmas tree with lights and buy presents for friends and family. Families get together and eat a special meal. Some people eat turkey and plum pudding, and many countries have a special cake. On Christmas Eve, children believe Santa Claus visits and leaves presents for them under the tree or in a Christmas stocking. All right, so those are the four holidays. Let's work on the chart. All right, so this says date celebrated. All right, so repeat it with me. Date celebrated. All right. Food eaten. Repeat it with me. Food eaten. And what happens? What happens? All right, so what date? Date is fecha. What date is Diwali celebrated? 
So let's go to the paragraph and find out what date it is celebrated. It says it takes place during October or November. So it takes place means that it happens. It is during this time. So October or November. So down here. We will write October or November. All right. So now let's do this holiday, Eid al-Fitr. That is this one. And let's see here. It is celebrated at the end of Ramadan. And Ramadan starts in the ninth lunar month. So it is at the end of the ninth lunar month. So let's go down here. So it is celebrated at the end of the ninth lunar month. There you go. Now let's do the same thing for Hanukkah. All right, so it says last eight that lasts eight days in November or December. So we'll have November or December will be the answer. So let's go down here and we'll type November or December and we'll put in eight days for how long it lasts. And Christmas, we all know this one. We don't need to look at it. Christmas is, oops, sorry, <laughs> the December 25th. All right, very good. So now let's go and find a, the information about the food that is eaten. So let's go back to this one. All right, so let's, where's the food? All right, special sweets and snacks, blah, blah, are eaten. All right, so you can write this one. You can say special sweets and snacks. And si quieren, pueden escribir este también. Pero vamos a escribir special sweets and snacks. Special sweets and snacks. All right. So now let's do this holiday for food eaten. All right. It says families get together and sweet dishes such as dates and milk and delicious cakes are eaten. So what we will say is sweet dishes and delicious cakes. So you need to take this and write it here. All right, so we said sweet dishes and delicious cakes. All right, now let's do the same for Hanukkah. All right, Hanukkah. Families get together to eat special fried foods like potato pancakes and donuts. So we'll say special fried foods. Si quieres, puedes escribir este también. So special fried foods. And these potato pancakes are very good. And Christmas, what does it say about Christmas? It says families get together and eat a special meal. Some people eat turkey and plum pudding. And many countries have a special cake. So we will write a special meal. So they eat a special meal. Turkey. And then what we'll do in parentheses, we'll write turkey, plum pudding, and special cake. There you go.
All right, so we're almost done. Now we need to do what happens. What do they do? So let's go back to this holiday. And the last sentence, it says, friends visit each other and presents are exchanged. Okay, so let's go back down and write that here. Friends visit each other and presents are exchanged. Presents are exchanged. All right, very good. Now let's do the same for this one. What happens during this holiday? It says families get together and they wear their best clothes. Houses are decorated with lights. So let's go with this part right here. So we will say they wear their best clothes and decorate houses with lights. All right. Now let's do the same for Hanukkah. Presents are given and special games are played. So this is what happens. So take this sentence and write it here. All right, and then this one, Christmas, what does this say? It says families get together, people decorate a Christmas tree, buy presents for friends, Santa Claus leaves presents under the tree. So they have a lot of stuff written here. So let's see, we'll say families get together exchange presents and decorate trees. All right, that's what this paragraph says. What we all know about Christmas is Christmas is celebrated for the birth of Jesus. So this paragraph doesn't have that in there, but that is the important part of Christmas. So let's go ahead and write that here because we know what Christmas really is about. Celebrate the birth of Jesus. That is Christmas. All right, so that is page 46. Thank you for following along. And remember, if you need to pause it so you can write, that is okay. And remember to listen and practice repeating these four different, the text on these four different holidays. In the next video, we will work on page 47.